Hello and welcome. My name is Susanna Ray, if you don't know me already, and I am an introvert entrepreneur myself, but I help fellow introvert entrepreneurs come live, get visible and really promote their business. And my speciality is using colour because colour has an amazing ability to connect and attract our attention. Now this is something that I wanted to broach this morning as if some of you have been following me on Instagram, you might have seen this photo that shows it's a beautiful orange flower and you've got all the intricate petals. And this really reminded me about what business and visibility is really about. Is there's lots of little petals here and each one is capturing some water and gaining the attention that it needs and it will attract the bees. But every single petal is part of the whole and the flower wouldn't be the flower without being its whole self. And this really reminded me about business, how we need to have all these different parts that fit together perfectly to give us the visibility that we need. But you can see here the overriding factor that attracts us to this flower is the colour. It's not the tiny details of the parts and exactly what's in there. Yes, we see those when we go in closer and we zoom in, but initially it is colour that attracts. And this is why colour is just so important for your brand and in your business and for being visible because colour does attract our eye. Colour is the fastest thing that our eye attracts and we recognise colour way before we recognise words and text. So yes, when we zoom in and go into detail and want to read a website, that our copy is important. But first of all, like flowers have to attract bees to be able to sustain their life, we need to attract clients to sustain the life of our business. And colour is a very powerful way that we can do that. And this also reminds me, I've got a little drawing that I made a while ago of a sunflower. And in fact, my client group, I call the shining sunflowers. Because for me, sunflowers are a great example and to follow in my business. So from a tiny little seed in the ground that starts by growing its roots and building its energy, it then grows and grows and grows to be a shining tall sunflower in the field that follows the sun and basks and really becomes, if you have any sunflowers in your garden, you'll know that they stand up, stand proud and become the star of your garden. And this is one of the reasons that I quote my clients to sunflowers because they start with those small, small roots developing underground, hiding itself away, but all the time building, building, building. But then they need a little help to come out and to grow and to really show the talents that they have out there. So the flowers have always been a huge inspiration to me and it's one of these things that you realise when you're trying to build your own business, what you've always connected to and you're trying to feel the links. And I've enjoyed doing flower photography for a long time and in fact I've got some more sunflowers here to show you. So these two were twin sunflowers that came into my garden and they just rose and rose and rose and again the beautiful warmth and vibrancy and yet again like the other flower that I showed you you can see there's such intricate detail of the seed pods and the ability and that's like all those background workings that we have to develop to just keep us going but it's seeing the bigger picture and again sunflowers it's a big flower on the whole you do get many varieties of course but it's a flower that comes up and says hey look at me come to me but it's not saying a word it's just there and it's attracting attention good morning deborah and ellen lovely to see you here with me 
so yeah sunflowers they're one of my favorite favorite flowers of all time and when we're building and developing and trying to get visible to our followers it's so important that we're using the colors that connect but we're also making sure that the content that we're putting out there is right and again the images that come together with that so every little piece of information that you're putting out there builds the bigger picture so it's yeah have you got any questions for me deborah or ellen you're very welcome to throw a question down when you join me live here on a wednesday morning and i'm also sharing into my group which is visibility for introvert entrepreneurs and i've had a bit of a quieter time in the last few weeks because i've been on holiday and enjoying myself as well so trying not to be quite so much online but i will be launching some a sort of a small video mini training series about colors and i plan to launch that on september the first on saturday so watch out for that and that is coming it'll be a three-part series looking at how color affects you in your business so if you're new to this idea and the concept of how colors work for you that would be perfect for you to sort of hop on over to my website grab that and that will be received through your email and so yeah wednesday so flowers i'm just trying to think on my notes what else did i want to talk about so it's really important when you're trying to build your own business is think about the journey that you want to take your customers on. So as I was saying, for me, that journey is sort of starts when my client is my hiding in the ground. It's a seed pod. They've got amazing talent and ideas. I work with highly creative entrepreneurs who really have these most amazing talents that need to get out there, but they're struggling with getting themselves seen. And then we sort of grow and build that together by following the sequences that they need. So when you're thinking about your customer journey, even if it's a product, there is still a journey that your customer needs to go on because the customer needs to come to you. They need to get used to your artwork, your style or your soaps, or maybe it's gardening equipment, depending what you're selling. And then they've got to learn and know and trust that what you're providing has true value. So there's still a journey that you take your customers on and getting them to get to know you. And this is why the other major thing I always, always encourage my clients to do, but it is so, so scary at first. And that's doing exactly what I'm doing right now. And that's on their Facebook business page, showing up regularly, consistently. In the same way with flowers that they consistently grow little tiny bits every day that when you're looking at them you don't see them growing but slowly 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 they grow and they rise and before you know it they're there and they're shining and how do they do that it's consistency because every single day they're putting the same energy in and they're growing and the the aspect and the message everything is then coming out so those that follow them they know where to go so when they want that product or service you will then be in their mind because quite often the customer journey from when they first come across you it could be months or i mean some people it might be days it might be fast action taker but more regularly it takes months for people to build up that trust hear what you've got to say and get yourself out there which comes to my final point this morning and that's about email lists so those of you who have joined me and are on my email list you will have heard me say this before and it's just so important because right now facebook it seems as solid as a rock and you wanted to gain followers and having people build and follow you here but what happens if facebook goes down tomorrow you'll lose all those contacts with the people who you've connected with on Facebook unless you've asked them to come across and be an insider in your community. And the only fail safe way we have for that right now is for asking for an email address to connect and to send information and value to. So as I launch my new mini training series, my email list will receive that. 
so I know that those who've previously connected with me will receive that so that's great and obviously I will then also promote here on Facebook I'm on Instagram to try and just get more people aware because I have this huge love of colour and my passion for colour I really hope always comes across and I just know that more businesses can be more successful if you connect to colour in the right way because colour comes down through our eyes into the back of our heads in the amygdala. I can never say that, amygdala is how I should be saying, is the section of our brain and this processes emotions as well as colour and this is why colour and emotion is so connected and we all know that when it comes to sales, emotion sells, people buy off emotion and then justify with logic after. So by using the colour to help us connect in with that emotion, you're making a big step and helping you connect in a bigger way. So I'm just going to check on, see if you've got any questions. So Ellen asks, I love flowers and would like to show them on my feed. How about that? Can I do that or not? Ellen, most definitely if flowers and the ones that you pick connect and build with your feed. I know Ellen is one of my clients, so I know she's a superb paper artist. She does wonderful cuttings of flowers. So if Ellen, you want to incorporate flowers into your feed, what would be beautiful is if you can show some of your paper cut flowers and with the flower that inspired it. And this way you're connecting the photography of the flower with your artwork so people can see how the inspiration comes because when you're an artist people love to see like the behind the scenes and the inspiration and where you get your ideas from so connecting these two things together particularly if you're on Instagram it's really important to use that description and make a little story so this morning when I posted up I'll just bring it up again here when I posted this flower, I wrote the reason why I posted this flower on my feed. I didn't just put it up there and let people go, oh, that's a pretty flower. I wrote why I posted it this morning and the feeling about these petals being every single part of the business. But overall, the feeling and the impact of the colour is what attracts and that's what attracts the bees to keep it alive. So Ellen says, I love colours, but when I make paper, it's mostly white papers. But I know you might use white papers, but you can have beautiful colour papers behind because paper cuts obviously have a see-through element. So when you photograph your paper cuts, having them on a bright coloured background really makes them shine and bounce out. So that's a way of maybe taking the colour from the original flower that you took your inspiration from, Ellen, and then using that colour as a painted ground behind will also help people connect to what you're doing and your inspiration. Because there's many people in the world who would love to be an artist and be able to do what you're doing, but they don't understand how you get there. And it's not that they're going to copy or do what you do necessarily, because they'll just go, I can never do that. But they're in complete awe about seeing the process. So all these behind the scenes of like showing you doing or creating or making if you are a maker that is so important to connect with your audience and then they'll go oh, wow and they'll really also understand the intricacy the time the talent and therefore you can also sell for the prices that you deserve hi Lydia nice to see you here as well and Deborah says Ellen you can display white paper cuts against any all colors exactly Deborah we think alike <laughs> so this is lovely that I say that you're here and joining me. I'm actually going to wind up now if there's no more questions. I always like to keep my lives around the 15 minute mark because what you'll also find is when you go live on your page, 15 minutes is about the maximum you really want for people to watch a replay. So people are more willing to stay and stay for longer when they're with you live because they can ask questions and get feedback. But your audience who watches on replay are also super important. So hello, if you're watching on replay, please do add some questions below if you have any. Do come over and join my group, Visibility for Introvert Entrepreneurs, which we will be gearing up the action as we move into September. 
so thank you all for joining me today i hope i've put a smile on your face with my flower pictures should we just see let's see i'll throw up my sunflowers for one last time because you've got to remember this is what you're aiming for for your visibility is to stand up and shine out there in your field where people's eyes just come and get drawn to you for your attention so have a wonderful day and I'll see you all across it in my group. Take care. Bye.